Well, the idea for the images came from my father, or my memory of my father, who died about six years ago. I now live in New Brighton on the front, um, right over the River Mersey. My father had a great love for the River Mersey, um, but he never actually saw where I lived. And the idea came, he also lent, left me, or the, the thing I've own, only thing I've got that his, was his possession, were a pair of binoculars. And I often use the binoculars to, uh, to look out over the river. And um, obviously it reminds me of my father. And he never actually saw where I lived. Uh, and he would have loved it. So the idea was um, to um, create a landscape um, that um, included my father. So, um, and also explore the idea of memory because my memories of my father are obviously of the times I spent with him, but more more recently, it's about photographs and, and about objects. Um, and we do have a tendency, I, I realise, to actually form our own memories. And then when we question them, whether they are actually um, true or not in the sort of, you know, a, a real sense, um, we, we tend to edit stuff and, and, and uh, you know, edit out the, the stuff that we don't um, want to remember. And um, I think to a certain degree we idealise. So th that was the idea of this um, you know, concept of, of, of uh, placing a, a picture of my father. Um, and I've got a picture of him on a beach. Um, and then placing items around there that have memories for me of my dad. And then placing them on the landscape of, a, um, of the beach at uh, New Brighton. Which incidentally is, is actually not a true picture because it's a, a composite of a, a lot of shots. So... Um, and I quite like the idea that this place doesn't really exist um, because to a certain extent our memories um, are something we've made up ourselves. What this has been enabled me to do is to actually look positively um, and kind of constructively and it's been great um, because you know uh, even though some of the memories that I found out are myths no, no, things that we've constructed as a memory. He used to work in um, the, the Blue Funnel, and there's a Blue Funnel building in, in Birkenhead, it's, it's now a uh, derelict, and um, he used to he used to work there. And every time I go past there, uh, it's on the docks, so if I'm going to Birkenhead, I walk past there, I think my dad used to work there. Well, I've investigated it, and I, and I looked at it and thought, it's probably a 1960s building now, um, on, on closer inspection. I mean, Dad finished with the Blue Flu in 62. There was a great big um, dock strike then, and they all got finished up, and he ended up working on the buses. But um, he finished there, so he probably didn't even work there. So it's kind of interesting, you know, you go back, you know, there's something you've gone past, and my dad used to work there, and then you find out he didn't. So. Yeah, a construction of memory, yeah. yeah. And is it real or is it made up? Yeah, uh, I mean you can you end up up, up your own backside, mm -hmm. um, but it's it but it's but it, but it's interesting and also it's you know interesting. For me, my mother, for instance, since he's died, they they, they were married for forty seven years, right, and fought every day. Right? So you imagine six kids and, and you know, um, and uh, of course like a, a, a conception. Of, oh, your dad and whatever. Are we talking about the same fella there? You know what I mean? Because there's a there's a there's a tendency to sanctify people when they die especially within our um, uh, background um, and, you know, and, and then elevate them to a we lost a brother um, six months before me our father died and uh, Eamon and he was a rogue great f f funny uh, fantastic but he was a he was a rogue right but he's been elevated to Saint Eamon now you know what I mean it's, it, it's kind of interesting <laughs> because you know whereas we're still assholes uh, you know he, Eamon's like you know kind of on a you know, but he was uh, but you know he was Eamon you know what I mean it's, it's, it's interesting when, when people die, the, the, the kind of, you know, change that happens in, you know, in perception. Yep. Awesome.